Welcome to our in-depth look at NMDA receptor antagonists in optimal anesthesia, critical players in anesthesia and pain management. These drugs block NMDA receptors, which are essential for brain functions such as memory and learning. In this guide, we'll explore how these drugs work, their applications in anesthesia, and the side effects you should be aware of. How do NMDA receptor antagonists work? NMDA receptors act as gates in the brain, regulating the flow of certain ions crucial for nerve cell communication and memory formation. NMDA receptor antagonists work by blocking these gates in various ways. 1. Competitive antagonists. These drugs, such as those discussed in current topics in medicinal chemistry, 2006, compete with glutamate, a natural brain chemical, to access the NMDA receptor. By blocking glutamate's binding, they prevent receptor activation. 2. Glycin antagonists. According to the European Journal of Medicinal Chemistry, 2003, these antagonists target the glycin binding site on the NMDA receptor, essential for receptor activation. By blocking this site, they inhibit receptor function. 3. Non-competitive antagonists. As detailed in current medical research and opinion, 2002, these drugs bind to a different site on the NMDA receptor, altering its shape and blocking its activity without directly competing with glutamate or glycin. For uncompetitive antagonists, Pharmaceuticals, Basel, Switzerland, 2024, explains that uncompetitive antagonists block the NMDA receptor channel only after glutamate is activated, preventing ion flow through the channel. So, how do these drugs fit into our anesthesia toolkit? Let's look at some well-known NMDA receptor antagonists and their roles in anesthesia. Ketamine is a powerful tool in anesthesia. It doesn't just induce sleep, it creates a dissociative state where patients feel detached from their surroundings. This unique effect is beneficial in emergency settings and for chronic pain management. A study by C. G. E. K. L. et al., 2023, highlighted ketamine's efficacy in managing complex pain conditions and its rapid antidepressant effects. Nitrous oxide, commonly known as laughing gas, it's frequently used in dental procedures and minor surgeries due to its quick onset and dual effects of anesthesia and analgesia. Research by R. Gay P. et al., 2017, supports its effectiveness and safety profile in various surgical settings. Desflurane and isoflurane, these inhaled anesthetics act as uncompetitive antagonists and are valued for their fast action and quick recovery times. Studies by J. W. Wells et al., 2019, have demonstrated their efficacy in maintaining stable anesthesia during surgeries. AABES et al., 2021, Xenon's neuroprotective effects make it a compelling option for future research. Chloroform and cyclopropane, while historical, these uncompetitive channel blockers were once used in anesthesia. Anesthesia and Analgesia, 2005, provides insights into their early applications and why they have been largely replaced. Once a staple in inhalational anesthesia, halothane's use has declined. British Journal of Anesthesia, 2018, offers a historical perspective on its role and subsequent reduction in use. As an adjunct in anesthesia, magnesium works by enhancing the effects of other anesthetics. The Review in Anesthesia and Analgesia, 2015, discusses its benefits in pain management and anesthesia. Tramadol, combining opioid effects with NMDA receptor blockade, tramadol is used for pain relief. Its analgesic properties are detailed in Pain Medicine, 2021. NMDA receptor antagonists provide several benefits in clinical practice, anesthesia, Ketamine's unique trance-like state offers effective anesthesia while allowing patients to stay conscious. Anesthesiology, 2020, underscores its versatility in complex pain management. Brain protection, these drugs can protect the brain during high-risk surgeries. Neuroscience Letters, 2020, discusses how NMDA receptor antagonists help prevent excitotoxicity and provide neuroprotection. Pain relief, NMDA receptor antagonists are effective in treating both acute and chronic pain, particularly when other treatments fail. 
Pain Research and Treatment 2021 highlights their efficacy. Mood improvement, low doses of ketamine have shown rapid antidepressant effects, which can be beneficial for patients undergoing surgery. Journal of Clinical Psychiatry, 2022, provides evidence of ketamine's mood-enhancing properties. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows, there are some important side effects to be aware of. 1. Psychotic symptoms, some NMDA antagonists can cause hallucinations or altered perceptions. DEJ, R.A. et al., 2019, in Psychopharmacology discussed these psychotomimetic effects, which can impact patient experience and require careful management. 2. Memory issues, prolonged use may impact memory and cognitive function. Elgin T. et al., 2021, in Neurotoxicology provide evidence on how chronic use of NMDA antagonists can lead to memory deficits and other cognitive impairments. 3. Tolerance and dependence. Over time, patients may develop tolerance, needing higher doses for the same effect, which can lead to dependence. E. P. W. et al., 2020, in Addiction Biology address these concerns, emphasizing the need for careful dose management. NMDA receptor antagonists offer significant potential in anesthesiology, with benefits in anesthesia, pain management, and neuroprotection. However, their clinical use comes with challenges that require careful consideration. For more details on the references and studies mentioned in today's episode, visit our website at optimalanesthesia.com. That's all for this episode of Optimal Anesthesia. If you enjoyed our discussion, be sure to subscribe and leave a review. We'll be back next time with more insights and updates from the world of anesthesiology.